To me, defying the doubt is overcoming the obstacles that other people put in front of you. It's not listening to what other people say. It's having a fire inside of you to go out there and achieve what you want to achieve. Frank, he had a lot of doubt about his basketball ability. Being the tallest, sometimes he was not the strongest. He got pushed around a lot. I just felt semi-uncoordinated half the time. I'd trip over my own feet, run into doorways. I got kind of singled out. What's up here, young man? Age before beauty. Uh, he needed to understand how to play the game. Oh, no pressure. We worked on how to handle the ball, how to pass the ball, how to be a teammate. Yeah, pressure's real, really getting to me. There's a lot of moments, just how tough my dad was on me sometimes, telling me either quit crying or go play soccer. When you're eating dinner with your family, you have conversations about basketball when you don't really want to talk about it. He was just planting the seed in my mind to have that motivation to become a better basketball player. I was never one of those politically correct fathers that was going to baby his children. I told him what he needed to hear. It was tough love, but I think it was all a critical part of his development. You win. Congratulations. College was a transition for me. It was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Playing six minutes a game freshman year was tough. You just got to stay mentally focused on what you want to accomplish. His junior year, I saw a lot of hesitation in those first couple games. I said, you can't just watch the game and figure out where you fit in. You make the tone of the game. I just decided that I was going to go out there and do what I can. And a couple games later, I ended up setting our school record by scoring 43 points. I think that game really gave me confidence to go out there and prove everyone wrong, to defy the doubt at every level.